Financial Literacy Seminar Series. The speaker today is Cynthia Fletcher from Iowa State University. Welcome, Cindy. Thank you, it's a pleasure to be here. We will be talking today about financial literacy in the libraries. Can you tell, tell us more about this initiative and why it is useful to promote financial literacy in the libraries? The initiative that I'm going to talk about this afternoon is called Smart Investing at Your Library. It was a project that was funded by the FINRA Investor Education Foundation in cooperation with the American Library Association. The idea was to select libraries, public libraries across the country, to take the initiative to work with a community partner to improve the level of investor knowledge, attitudes, and behaviors to improve their financial well-being. The um, selection of libraries was an interesting one. Um, libraries really are the hub in many communities for lifelong learners and the topic of investor education is one that the learning can't stop after a course but life changes, information changes, regulations changes, so um, partnering with a library where people are familiar with coming either simply to use resources or to be involved in adult programming seemed unnatural. This is a very important initiative because every little town has a library, mm -hmm. but do you see obstacle or problems with that? For example, the people who go to the library might just be a selected group of individuals? I think your point's well taken that all libraries are not alike. I was fortunate to work with the Ames, Iowa Public Library. Ames happens to be the home of Iowa State University. The Ames Public Library in this project selected Iowa State University Extension, the outreach arm of Iowa State, to be their community partner. I jumped at the chance to work with them because that particular library is really a vibrant library. Over half the population has a library card and that library ranks nationally among the top 10 libraries of peer population uh, in terms of circulation, attendance at adult programming, and the number of books checked out. So the concern about outreach, particularly when the topic is investor education, I think is less a concern in this case because of their broad outreach to the population. Of course, anytime you're doing a community-based voluntary educational program. Uh, the concern about who will come is obvious. Um, something that I think is valuable though is to think about and the feedback that we received is that the people who come in turn diffuse information to others either through their work, through volunteer roles in the community, or simply to their family and friends. So I think there is that ripple effect in addition to who actually shows up and attends educational programs. Judging from the experience at the library that you have worked with, can you say a few words about the effectiveness of this program? Does it work and should we take it to a broader level? Perhaps I should explain what we actually did at the Ames Public Library. We um, spent a lot of time planning this project and initially decided to target three audiences, Gen X, baby boomers, and people near or in retirement. We decided to develop traditional courses, a four-week, once-a-week, face-to-face workshop for each of those targeted audiences but also to offer basically that same experience as a web-based course so that people could, could choose whether to attend a face-to-face -face or an online course. But I think what's somewhat unique about this project, we realized that that one intervention would not be enough. So we surrounded that course with a constellation of other activities. We trained the reference librarians in that library to be more familiar with investor resources on the web. We created a dedicated website, a portal of investor information. 
we used grant, front, grant funds from FINRA to greatly expand the library's collection and importantly, um, purchase subscriptions to expensive investor databases that they had not been able to include in the repertoire of their, their circulation. Then also, we conducted a year-long media campaign in the community to create more awareness and to disseminate information about the importance of making wise investment decisions. What happened? Um, simply, very quickly, in terms of the people who attended the classes, through pre and post tests, mm -hmm. we found increases in knowledge, increased confidence, and even at the end of the last course, we had indications that people were taking action. For example, people um, reported that they had done a ballpark estimate of their retirement needs that they had become regular readers of the business page of the newspaper, that they had completed a risk tolerance assessment. Those kinds of actions also occurred. We also did pre-post tests with the librarians and found on a set of competencies a significant increase in their competency to provide good advice and information in terms of access and interpreting web-based information. We saw a big jump in the use of the collections within the library, um, which suggests that education may increase the demand and use of investor information. So in many ways, we do have some indication that the course and all of the additional um, changes in the quality or services that were available in the library and in the community were effective. And this evaluation is continuing over time? We aren't continuing that evaluation under, uh, over time. Um, unfortunately, resource constraints are an issue. We have some indications that there is some sustainability of the project. And a simple example, we ran a year-long series of newspaper articles. The newspaper has asked the local extension staff person to continue writing investment and financial education columns in the newspaper. So that has become a regular feature of the local newspaper. That local library has continued beyond the grant to work with this extension to continue to offer some additional classes. So if you had to reflect on your experience, what do you think are the main takeaway from this project at the library and the use of library to promote financial literacy? I think there are a couple of important lessons learned in this project. Perhaps um, the most important thing is that rather than doing a single intervention, we have designed a project that changed not only um, the learning experience of those who chose to attend, but we changed that environment and in essence increased the capacity of that community to provide financial education to the residents. I think another thing that we learned is that it's all about partnerships in community-based financial education. The library literally could not have done this project without the knowledge and expertise of the university and the expertise in doing adult education that our extension faculty and staff have. So a partnership allowed us to do much more than either one organization could accomplish. Well, thank you, Cindy. I think this is a great initiative, and I hope that many more a library will adopt it. Thank you. We are hoping in Iowa to take this project to scale. We've done one wave of expanding the project to a set of rural libraries, and in the coming year, with a, an additional grant from FINRA, we'll be taking it to 18 more libraries. This looks a wonderful initiative. Thank you. Thanks very much. It's enjoyable to be here.